Welcome back. 12 minutes after the hour. If you keep track with us at Fox Wilmington, and why wouldn't you? It's time for Ryan PC Trimble to come in. Tell us what is trending. Ryan, what you got? All right. So uh, when I was looking through Twitter, I found a hashtag that I thought was kind of cool, kind of awesome. It was hashtag spring break books. It was trending. I was like, oh, that's awesome. It's all about what people are like reading over break. Yay, books. Well, oops, it's totally not that at all. Comedy Central show Midnight asked people to use the hashtag to remake book titles into more appropriate spring break versions. And here are a few that I found on Twitter that I thought were uh, kind of funny. So at Justy Dodge, uh, this is an example. She tweeted where the girls gone wild things are. <laughs> which is a, you know, a wonderful example. Uh, and then the next one is from Tyler W. Wood, who too, who said, how to lose friends and become stranded in a bad neighborhood all by yourself. <laughs> um, and I think there's been some personal experience. <laughs> some there, of these. Maybe Tyler had some experience <laughs> with that. And the last one I think sums up uh, spring break fairly well. Uh, the, the hungover games. The hungover games. games. Um, That's I, awesome. Yeah, I thought these were really funny, but I was really thrown by it at first because I was like, oh, it'll be like what people are reading. Because I read over, because I was not fun in college and I just like sat around and read. Read books. Um, yeah, I did. I read a lot of books. I went, I went crazy. Yeah, <laughs> could probably do a little bit of both. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this next story, I just absolutely didn't want to run at all, uh, but I had to. I couldn't ignore it because so many people were talking about it, and it's sort of my job to report what people are discussing. So, okay, just listen to this. Yeah, you hit our door, bedroom door. One moment, okay. Okay, so this family in Oregon says their cat attacked their baby, then went after their dog. So the family locked themselves in a room, and the cat wouldn't let them out. Like, the cat barricaded them in the room and wouldn't let them out. The police came, and they ended up capturing the cat, and now the family is not sure if they want to keep it. I know you're a cat lover. I am a cat lover. So <laughs> Is that why you didn't want to write this one? I did not want to speak bad of cats. And Aww. I also just, I don't know, I feel like um, there was another part that, that wasn't in the sop, but the guy called and he said he kicked the cat to try and get it away. Right. So I just feel like kicking the cat absolutely didn't help the situation no, at all. No, it didn't. Yes. Yeah, so, I you know, know, there's always two sides to every story, even if one of them is, is cat-shaped. I can't, I just find it so hard to believe that, you know, they would be that afraid of a cat to yeah. lock themselves in their room. Yeah. I, but then I wasn't there, so, you know. Unless that know. cat is a lion. I just, <laughs> it's bigger I'm thinking, than you. I'm pretty much bigger than you, pal. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You I can, don't know. I mean, I've seen sure, angry cats but before, but I've never been that terrified that I've had to lock myself in a room. But it made national television for that story. It so, it's like to be right. that guy going to work the next day. So, so how's the cat? <laughs> <laughs> the cat will attack you, you and really? lock you in your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Time Magazine is really awesome because it takes something fun and culture relevant like selfies and then turns them into data and facts and I love that kind of thing. So anyway, they looked around Instagram for the hashtag selfie and used that to make a list of the selfiest cities in the world. Now we're going to use technology to take a list at that, a uh, look at that list. Oh, Speaking are we going to? Speaking of technology. How are you? We're on the world. This is now a camera one, two shot. There we go. Oh, oh. Done. We're trying to. I've got it on the weather computer you. if you Should want it. Up there. Okay, so allegedly it's there. There it is. There okay, it is. cool. So this is Time Magazine's list of the selfiest cities in the world. And number one is actually in the Philippines, mm. uh, a place called Makati City. Um, which I've never heard of, but they, for every 100,000 people, there were 258 people taking selfies. But the second one kind of makes sense, Manhattan. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then right after Manhattan came Miami, Florida. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I looked around on the list, uh, you know, places like California were pretty high up. I looked for us, we did not even place. <laughs> um, so you want to change that, right? I absolutely <laughs> want to change that. So I'm calling on everyone. We want to see your selfie. Uh, if you can follow us on, on Twitter, at Fox Wilmington, tweet us a pic of you watching this show. Oh. And we'll try and put it on TV. And if, if anything, just try and get Wilmington's selfie count up because I think that's very, very important. In the last, we, we did one here that, that were, it went over well. It did. I liked our selfie. Yeah. Um, it actually might sh oh, It shared gone. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. It did. It was shared by an amazing. Uh, there it is. <laughs> there there it is. Is. Uh, that's a good one. It was an astounding seven people retweeted it. Oh, wow. So yes. that's like an increase of uh, 15%. Oh. Yeah. 20%? <laughs> if you do that math, I oh. will, but thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and what's sad about that is if you count the number of employees that work on the morning it, show. I was we could have been retweeted was, even more. Yeah. At least one non employee that was that did that. Thank you, non employee. We appreciate I must not have been here. I don't even remember no, that. It selfie. was it was not <laughs> you wouldn't have remembered it if, if I'd you like were to here. forget it myself. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna stop trying things then. Because I thought it was fun. Just we want to see your selfies. Yes, yeah, send us yours. Because <laughs> you see enough of us. So send us yours. Exactly. So speaking of someone that you can never see enough of, let's 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 take a look at Colin. How's Colin doing? The king of the selfie. <laughs> I was just gonna take one too. Should we do that? We'll take I, a selfie. Should I we need, take a selfie? I think it will. With the weather you, map behind how you. Do, how does this thing you, work? Do you, do you know how to do a phone, Colin? I do. They know can, how to do they a can phone. even pull this up on TV right now. This is what it'll look like. Oh, there's your selfie. That's cool. You can put your uh, phone on the TV. Yeah. Maybe I should tweet you something inappropriate right now. There Absolutely. it is. And we'll bring it up and then we'll no. fire. No, I just, I don't know. It's I'm looking at the... your map. I'm really interested in when the rain's going to get here, Colin. Oh, oh, come it. on in. There you go. <laughs> That was a selfie, selfie bomb. Go. That was a selfie bomb. That was a well, the rain's the rain's just a few minutes away uh, from oh, Southern Brunswick County, probably about an hour away from uh, Wilmington, maybe just a little less than that. You can see on the hour of hour forecast model, it puts uh, this big swath of moisture right through the region as we head throughout the middle of the day today. I think we'll see some clearing. Temperatures are going to still be mild. I think our high temperature today gets up to about 75 or so. And then look at this. At 11 o'clock, it'll be 60 degrees. At 3 o'clock, it'll be 49 degrees. And at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, we'll be back into the 30s. Buckle up. It looks like a pretty cool forecast here in the coming days. Fishing game forecast for today. Showing the best time to get out and try some fishing. You have to be careful. It is windy and there's a small crap advisory. But it looks like good fishing. I'm out of here.